create your content once and let it attract visitors or viewers for many years to come. That's the idea of creating evergreen content. For example, this video was created almost two years ago and it is still getting lots of traffic every month as well as many recent comments. Or this video posted more than two years ago about speeding up WordPress websites. It is still getting lots of traffic and comments as well. Evergreen content does not only apply to videos, it applies to blogs as well. For example, our content on Power Words published many years ago is ranking on the first page of the search term, What are Power Words? And after a little research, this keyword has a couple of hundred searches every month. The same is true with this blog post about what is a referring domain. We are ranking on the first page of the exact key phrase, and there are hundreds of searches for the keyword every month. So in this video, we will share with you how to find and create evergreen content for your website to attract visitors for years to come. Let's go. Hey, it's Jack from RankMath, the one WordPress plugin that brings you easy to use SEO and AI tools. And this channel is all about helping you grow your search traffic. So if you're new to us, subscribe. Your site's traffic is supposed to grow exponentially as the number of content grows. The traffic numbers of each post is supposed to stack on top of one another. But if you are only focusing on creating trendy, seasonal, or one-off content, then the site's traffic will go downhill as the trend dies. So for any websites, the key to exponential growth is evergreen content. And they can typically be found in these formats of content. For example, if we were to talk about how-to guides, there could be topics like how to start a WordPress blog. Listicles could be productivity tools for remote workers. FAQs could be what is SEO and how does it work. Glossaries or definitions can include glossary of grilling techniques. An evergreen case study can be how our company grew traffic by 300% using SEO. Top free tools for content creation for resources or tools roundup essential camping checklist for beginners for the checklist format, and simple tips for improving your public speaking. What do these topics have in common? They are timeless, meaning they do not specify any specific time, date, or event. There is a sustained search interest, they provide high value, and they require little to no update to the content. It is true that most evergreen content can be found in these formats, but not all topics in the format are evergreen. For example, how to install Windows 10 latest update? Most people have switched to Windows 11, so this piece of content becomes semi-evergreen because there are still some people who didn't switch. A how-to topic that is truly not evergreen will be how to use Google Plus to build your online community because Google Plus is phased out. A non-evergreen listicle will be best Amazon Prime Day deals for 2022 because the deals in the content will no longer be available and every year you will need to have a complete overhaul of the content to stay relevant. Non-evergreen topics for FAQs could be FAQs about 2022 Winter Olympic events. An entire glossary will become obsolete when a platform or product goes out of style, like glossary of MySpace terms. Case studies with specific years or events are not evergreen as well, such as a case study on startup success during the 2020 pandemic. How to recover from Google March Call updates for tutorials because the content serves a specific purpose. Top 10 resources for navigating the 2020 lockdown. Checklist for moving from Windows XP to Vista. SEO tips for Yahoo search. This may seem like an evergreen topic back in 2005, but not anymore. Simply put, there are some topics that may seem evergreen, but as the products, platforms, or services go out of style or out of business, they suddenly become not evergreen anymore. It's hard to get a truly evergreen topic unless it is something very basic like how to tie a tie. But even that could go out of style if the work in the future does not require a tie. So I would say there is a time frame for being evergreen for most topics out there. You just have to find topics that have a longer lifespan. So before you invest time and energy into creating content, you've got to do some checks to validate its evergreenness. If you're going to write a piece of content that is platform reliant, for example, a tutorial on Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, Google ads, or whatever, it will be prudent to do some research on a trend of the platform. Use Google Trends to figure out its longevity. We could search for Facebook, change the location to worldwide, adjust the time frame to five years, and we will see that the trend is coming down, but it is not dead. So exercise some foresight. Will Facebook be gone in five years? 
If you think it is not, then your content could be evergreen for at least the next 5 years. It is prudent to compare the data with other competitors, such as TikTok. You see, although the trend of Facebook is going down, there is still more interest than TikTok. And checking out the trend of TikTok, you can see that it is rising. Add another competitor, say YouTube, and you will see that YouTube has been constantly trending for the past 5 years. And I personally think that the trend will continue. So any topics related to YouTube that seem to be evergreen could stay relevant for a long time. Let's add Pinterest. It is not one of the most popular, but if we remove its competitors, we can see that it is trending upwards over the past 5 years. So it is still safe to create how-tos and tutorials about Pinterest. Now let me show you an example of platforms that went out of style. You want to switch the time frame to the maximum. And as you can see, for Pinterest, when it first started, it was trending very strongly, it was stagnant for quite some time, and it continued to trend upwards from 2021. But for platforms like Friendster, you can see that it was trending very strongly until 2008, and the trend starts coming down in 2010 and onwards, and now it is dead. During this time, Facebook was introduced, so Friendster couldn't keep up with the trend. The same goes for BlackBerry. So we've got to exercise some common sense to figure out if the content is going to be evergreen. You can also use Google Trends to figure out the industry trends to make sure that the topics will not go out of style quickly. Once you have identified that the platform, industry or whatever will not be outdated in the next couple of years, you can start working on identifying evergreen topics. Starting with those supposed evergreen formats, you could leverage tools like Google Keyword Planner to find keywords like WordPress tutorials, change the location to all locations, and hit get results. And you will see highly related keywords. You see WordPress tutorial for beginners, assuming that WordPress will continue to be one of the prominent platforms for websites for the next 5 to 10 years, this keyword will be evergreen. The same goes for learn WordPress development, get started with WordPress, WordPress web design course, and others. You could also use something like how to start WordPress, or you can change WordPress to your niche, industry, or platform, and this can be used as the C keyword, hit get results, and you will have how to suggestions. You see, there are quite a number of evergreen topics from the suggestions. You can even use Content AI to brainstorm evergreen topics if you run a WordPress website. On RankMath SEO, you want to click on the Content AI module, then select the chat tab, Use one of the prompt examples here, such as this. Substitute the placeholder with the industry or platform, such as WordPress, and hit enter or return. And in the while, you will have many different directions related to the industry or platform you have entered. You can further prompt this. Say, use one of our expert prompts from the prompts library. As you can see, there are so many prompts here. But the one we are looking for is this long tail keywords prompt. Let's click on use prompt and change the placeholder with one of the suggested directions, such as SEO for WordPress. Let's copy this and paste it here and hit send. And in a while, you will get a list of long tail keywords. From here, you can pick those keywords that are potentially evergreen. For example, how to improve WordPress SEO for beginners, how to optimize images for WordPress SEO, on-page SEO techniques for WordPress, and so many others. From there, once you have accumulated a list of evergreen keywords, you should put them into SEO tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush, or Google Keyword Planner to find out if people are searching for them, such as this keyword found on Content AI. Let's copy it and search for it on Google Keyword Planner. As you can see, there are about 100 to 1,000 monthly searches for this keyword, which means this is a good keyword to create an evergreen content. The key is you want to create content for topics or keywords that people are searching for. Otherwise, you'll be wasting your time and resources. We have done quite a number of videos on keyword research and have grouped them into this playlist right here. We highly recommend that you check it out. The link to the playlist is in the description. Anyway, once you've identified your evergreen topics, it's time to create the content. Content AI's blog post wizard is trained to write high quality content for any topic. There is a three step process. The first is to identify a blog post idea. And since we have already decided on a topic to write, we can skip this step. Let's say that the topic is how to start a WordPress website. 
And then if you have done your research, you can add those pointers here, but I will leave it empty. Select your audience. As you can see, there is a long list of predefined audiences, but if you don't find one that is suitable, you can customize it, such as small business owners. Hit comma and a tag will be created for it. Now the focus keyword is the keyword you want your content to rank. So it is highly likely the same as your topic. I'll copy it and paste it here. For the tone, this depends on your brand voice. I could change it to informal and friendly if this is the tone of your brand voice. And then as for the style, as you can see, these are the different types of content. But for this context, I would say the topic is a tutorial and it could be a listicle as well. Select the language and let's generate the outline. Give it a while and here we go. Are you happy with the outline? Is this what you want to see in your content? If no, you can hit regenerate again or maybe even changing some variables before regenerating. And here we go. Now, if you are happy with this outline, let's hit write post. Give it a while for it to generate the content. And in a couple of seconds, you will have the first draft of your content written. As you can see, it has written more than 2300 words. Click on create new post and a new blog post will be created on your website. Now you just have to add your knowledge, experience and expertise in the content. Now, as you read through the content, you want to take notes on parts of the content that may go outdated. You may want to create an Excel or Google Sheet to highlight parts of the content that may become outdated. For example, this part where it says, after signing up with one.com, click on the one click install option located under website tools, select website and proceed with installation. If one.com updates their interface, removes the one-click installation option, or changes the menu labels, this specific section will be outdated. While the rest of the content about starting a WordPress website may still remain relevant. So you want to make a note on a spreadsheet to check that part of the content that may be outdated at least once a year. This will help you reduce the amount of time to update your content. And then as you continue to read your content, if you find that there is a paragraph or section you find too professional or hard for beginners to understand, for example this, you can write a prompt to make it easy to understand and save that prompt for future use. To create and save a custom prompt, click on the Content AI tab, select the Chat option, and click on the Prompt Library. Click on Add Custom Prompt, give the prompt a name such as Simplify Paragraph, and then add a prompt saying, review and revise the following content to ensure it is straightforward and accessible to a wide audience. Use clear, simple language and avoid jargon. Make sure the content is helpful for beginners. Once you're done with the prompt, click on Save Prompt and you can find it again in the Custom tab right here. Let's use this prompt. You want to copy it. Go to the paragraph you want to make simpler. Hold on Shift and Enter so that the prompt you write here will be in the same paragraph block and you want to paste the prompt here. And as you can see, this is the prompt and this is the complicated text. They are all under the same paragraph block. As you can see, this is another block, but this, this entire block of text here belongs to the same paragraph block. Then you want to click on the Content AI Commands icon and select Run as Command. And in a while, you will have a simplified paragraph that is easily understood by beginners. Click on Use and it will be added to the content but make sure that you remove the prompt and the complicated paragraph. Now, once your content is done, you will want to optimize it for SEO. Go to the Rank Maps tab and add the main focus keyword you want your content to rank, which in this case is how to start a WordPress website. As you can see, these are the SEO checks to ensure that your page is well optimized for SEO. And these checks add up to a score of 100. But as long as your page has a score of more than 80, it is considered well optimized for SEO. Take note that this score does not guarantee that your contents will rank. It is just an indicator telling you that your page is optimized for the search engines. If you want to get into the details of how to write long form, high quality content, you can check out this video. And if you want more details about optimizing your content for SEO, you can check out this video. 
These two videos will give you exactly what you need to rank highly on the search engines. So we have talked about identifying and creating high quality evergreen content. Now the third step is to amplify the effects of it through repurposing and regular updating. When talking about repurposing, we are talking about using long form content and creating smaller versions of it to share it on other platforms like Facebook, Instagram, X, LinkedIn, YouTube, etc. You can use content AI tools in the marketing and sales category like the Facebook post AI tool give it a topic brief such as an article about how to start a WordPress website, select the content variables such as the length, I want a Facebook post to have more than 5 sentences, so I will select the long option, the medium option will generate about 3 to 4 sentences, the short option will generate 1 to 2 sentences, and then select your language and the number of outputs, and hit generate. In a while, you will have a Facebook post ready to be published on your Facebook account. You could also use tools like the Tweet tool, the Instagram Caption tool, and even the Podcast Episode Outline tool to help you repurpose your content. And since the focus is on evergreen content, they should be included in your email sequence, which is a series of emails you send to your email subscribers. You can use the email tool from Content AI to help you craft the email. Add the same brief for example, select the length option, they will be the same as earlier, select your language and the number of outputs, and hit generate. And in a couple of seconds, you will have an email to be included in your email sequence. And finally, at least once every year since the last publication of the piece of content, you should go through the content again and update them. Watch this video to learn an effective way to select and update your content, and watch this video to go deeper into content repurposing. The links are in the description. With this, I hope you have a clear understanding of how to verify and create evergreen content. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Our channel is all about helping you grow your search traffic. So if it aligns with your goal, do subscribe to us as we publish helpful videos every week. This is Jack from Rank Math. I'll see you in the next video.